Alright, hopefully it's coming up, man. I don't know what's going on with my sound, man. What's up with y'all, man? It's DJ Kuda. I'm back at the helm of today's show. Got a great show for you guys tonight, man. It's Player Talk Radio, Player Talk TV. We are in the building. <laughs> Hold up. I can't hear that shit. Hold up. But it says it's coming up, so I don't give a fuck. All right, man, we are in the building, man. Look, I got to finish this uh, clip with y'all. I got to give y'all the game. I've been on panels lately, my bad, y'all. These hoes been so irrelevant. We in this joint, man. second Joe Oh that's crazy My fucking cat move this motherfucking I got to get my walls and shit together. My PlayStation right here. All right, anyway. Fuck it. Get my shit together. Hold on. We're going to... Let's get into this... uh... My bad, y'all. I'm I'm tripping right now, okay? I, I got a lot of shit going on. Anyway. My cat... This little bitch ass nigga comes in here and starts touching shit and moving shit like while I'm gone and shit these sneaky ass motherfuckers I'm looking at him right now like he's sleep I'm gonna wake him up out of his sleep I'm gonna I'm scare the shit out of him because don't do that anyway on today's show man we're gonna be talking about you know um MGTOW and we're gonna talk about women discussing MGTOW so we're gonna go back over this clip that I need to get out of the way with you guys. Um, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like I, I'm tired of hearing women talk about MGTOW because honestly, I'm tired of hearing dudes talk about MGTOW. They don't understand anything about MGTOW. They don't know anything about SYSBM and they don't know anything about it more. And they got the most to say, like, about this shit. Like, this shit is like, Ridiculous, you dig what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um I'm gonna just play your clip. Hopefully you guys heard the pre-show over here at the Black Avengers. I might put this up on YouTube. I just might just to bring people over to you know what I'm saying, the Black Avenger radio. I might do that. So Oh shout outs to my boy Cooper, man. <laughs> It says it's coming up, but I don't hear it. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit on, too. Let's see. Yeah, I maybe got to... I maybe got to, you know what I'm saying? I maybe got to cut everything. But listen, man. Give me one second. We're going to get into this clip. It's Player Talk Radio, man. Let's get into some jazz real quick. And then we're going to be right back. With today's show, man. What I want y'all to do while y'all listening to these beautiful tunes is hit that link. Um, You can cash at me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, I can't reach for that. You can cash at me at PTR. I think it's 888. I don't fucking know. Anyway, I'll have all of that shit in the description box, man. Send your boy a bag, man. I did this shit with no motherfucking... I did it without platinum. Do you get my drift? Let's get it, man. Let's get into this Tokyo Jazz, man. Let's go. It's Player Talk Radio. It's DJ Kuda back at the helm of today's show, man. Let's go. <laughs>
Nigga, did you take my money? <laughs> That's right, little bitch. I took it back. You ain't worth no hundred dollars. I am Joe Blow, the lover man. You should be paying me, bitch. Give me my money, man. Shit. What money? Should I get cut like you all day, a dime a dozen? Shit. Here, here's two dollars. Go get you some dish powder and keep it clean for me next time. All right, this player talk radio. We are back in. The... <laughs> 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 All right, we. <laughs> oh shit, we are back in the building, man. It's DJ Kuda back at the helm of today's show, man. I'm just chilling. Um. Got a great show for you guys tonight, man. Let's just get straight into this broad talking about MGTOW, and uh, let's just debunk all of this shit. Let's just see what... Let's just see what she's talking about, okay? Let's go. Let's hear this shit. Hey, y'all. I'm live. Had to make a new topic. I was cut. But I thought I'd make a better topic since I had a lot of trolls and <laughs> that wanted to be addressed. How you doing? How you doing? Y'all like my title? Y'all like my title? I really title? don't like this girl talk gossip my shit. The title was... We're going to talk about this shit. We're going to talk about the, the way that I want to talk about. Mediocre to optimum women. That's when the thing they do, they miss... Um, <clears throat> interpret the name. MGTOW. They say MGTOW. I guess it's time for some new subscribers, huh? My bad. I'm in here burping and shit. All right, let's, let's, new t- dusty, so let's get into it. Trying to help level up. Level up. <laughs> so, fellas, the narrative of these women, all right? I'm just going to skip the bullshit so you guys will, won't get into this bullshit mind of thinking. Is fuck these niggas. Whatever you do, secure the bag, sis, because these bitches need to live. These bitches got bills. These bitches got kids. Let me tell you the game for what it is because it is what it is. Let's get it. So fuck these niggas. Get that bag, sis. And to a degree, as a man, you have to understand. You can say fuck these bitches, get that, that bag, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get the bag, nigga. But see, what getting the bag for a nigga is is different than for what Getting the bag for a woman is see a man looks at his bag as a form of his resources. What can he kick out? Whereas a woman, she looks at her bag as a uh, you know, as what can she get? She's getting the bag. See, women get the bag more than men because men have to work for it. Women don't. See, man, working for the bag will still give it to a woman that didn't work for the bag. You understand what I'm saying? So some women do spend money better than men. We have to understand the game. Some women do spend money. There's women out there that spend money way better than I do. Because my mindset towards money probably, and a lot of men mindset towards money could probably be in survival mode. You understand what I'm saying? But once you realize money and how money works and things that, you know, things of that nature and then and, and versus how much you work, how much you're making and things like that. Um, you start to realize that you're really not into survival mode. This is called improving your relationship with money. See, a lot of women, they have a relationship with money because they receive an abundance of it due to their looks and things like that. Pussy and all kinds of things like that. So if a woman does spend money. Better than you spend money in a lot of cases, other than your ignorance, she has a ability to have a capacity to make errors and spend it a little bit better. Sometimes a millionaire spends sometimes a millionaire can appear that he spends money better than the average man because his money creates a capacity for him to hide or conceal what he's actually doing 
but on a bigger level, he doesn't spend his money wisely. But to not spend your money wisely on a bigger level, you have to have money in general to not spend it wisely. You understand how that works? We're going to get into the esoteric science of this shit. See, a lot of y'all niggas like to talk about the end game. No, fuck the end game. What is the science? It's not the having, it's the getting. So to have a proper end game, you have to understand the science of things. But there are women out here that spends money better than you spend money because she, by either proxy or just by her looks and things like that, gets a natural income. She gets a natural income. Her income is natural. She doesn't have to work for it. These bitches don't have to get a get a job. They could just get a boy a boyfriend. But when you have feminism and things like that, and you have women not being feminine and they're and they're and they're complaining and oh these niggas and fuck these niggas and all this other shit, you have a complaining bitch. Then feminism tell women, yo, you got to go out and get up and go work for money because, you know, I mean, the women don't have to get a job. They just get a boyfriend. So the game is with them is that to say, yo, you know, you can you can play and pretend like you're not you're not getting a check from niggas by going to work. But you still receive that income from the niggas that you date, from the niggas that want to be with you. From the niggas that you play, from the niggas that want pussy, and your boyfriend. On the back end, you can have it all. Woo You can have it all. You can have it all, little trick ass niggas. You can have it all, bitch. See the real niggas know. So the real niggas glow. But anyway, man, don't let me don't let me don't let me get too far into the game. My cash app is PRT. I said PRT, PTR, Player Talk Radio, 888. You understand what I'm saying? Send your donations at PTR, 888. Especially if you're listening over at the Black Avenger, I'm giving y'all some special type of game. So I would expect you guys at the Black Avenger to donate before anybody over at YouTube. Because now, just because you know this website and everything, you're here for a reason. It's called PTR, Cash App, PTR888. Send your boy something. Send me a note. Send me a, a show topic. Show topics are going for 5 to $10. You dig what I'm saying? 5 for a segment, 10 for a show. I'm going to let you know what you need to know. It's Player Talk Radio, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get into this broad talking about MGTOW because she calls it mediocre men to optimal women. Hilarious. Hilarious. So let's get into it. It just listening to this shit. It just it, it it makes me mad. It really makes me mad. My bad. So anyway, let's get into it. What's today? What's today? Friday. Freaky Friday. All right, let's go. We're gonna skip a little bit. Hold on. Is she gonna be? She's gonna um, be talking to her little minions no. and shit. Hold on. If you had Here money, women couldn't run game on you without you being offended because it's just money that you're gonna earn right back anyway. And this is a woman that's about to hit up. the wall. You no know, big deal. Okay. So my point is get your money up. Stop being mad at the wrong people. Be mad at yourself. You ain't mad at women, you mad at your mediocre self. That's all you're mad at. Get you some money. Okay. I would be mad too. I would be crying too if I was mediocre as far as, you know, being a man and can't get no money if I was a man. You know? Oh, you know, that's a bad place to be as a man. You know, if you do, if you broke and dusty, you can go get you a pick Misha and somebody will take you, can take care of you. You can flip the script quick. But if you're just mediocre and you have your own little apartment, your own little gas efficient car and, you know, you're mediocre or everything, you stuck in the middle and the pain is thunder. What's wrong with a man having his own apartment and a and a, a gas efficient car? 
What's wrong with that? So you're talking to a bitch that under that doesn't understand the economy. And we got the foodie call joint coming up, man. If y'all been over at uh, Obsidian's uh, radio channel, I've been on that joint. What's wrong with that? What's wrong? With, what's wrong with the? Uh, what's wrong with the? Uh, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that that uh, got an apartment in the media in the in the mediocre car. The niggas that these bitches fucking, they don't have an apartment. They don't even have a mediocre car. The fuck are you talking about? This nigga has somewhere to parlay. And this nigga has means of getting around. This some middle school shit. The fuck? These hoes are dumb. Bitches that don't even have an apartment. Bitches that don't even have a car. The hell are you talking about? That's res- that's hella responsibility. Because these hoes ain't even basic. But they basic. This bitch sitting on a bed talking shit. Don't you have to have a place to have that bed in? <laughs> don't you... How you gonna get there? You gotta go to work. How you gonna get there? You gonna take the bus? And even if you are a nigga on the bus, don't let no bitch like this talk down to you. She will fuck you. She will fuck you. If you know you're gonna be on the bus for a while and you can't get a car, nigga, go get you some shoes. She will fuck you. Real talk. Michael says. You don't know which way to go. You try to fall in love and have the mediocre life, which women don't want. So you get played. Get your money up. You want If you want a woman that looks decent and treats you right, get your money up. If you aren't living a mediocre life, you wouldn't be judging a man's uh, life being mediocre. See, fellas, y'all got to real, realize and understand that these women think they're better than you because you got what they got. Or you got what they perceive that they got. They don't know you from a cat in the paint. If you in the works or if, or if you got a... You, nigga, you... Listen. Let's say six days from today. Six days from today. You're going to get a million dollar check. But you don't got it right now, right? And you just happen to say, yo, you know what? Let me go approach this bitch real quick. And let me take her to my house real quick. Let me show her how I'm living real quick and stuff. You know, I'm 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 five to six days before I'm a millionaire. Let me see where this bitch mind is at. Let's just let's just see that. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking about your game because you transitioned into some money. You did what I'm saying, nigga. So you say, yo, let me let me see where this bitch mind at real quick. All right, let me let me see where she at. Oh, I ain't try to deal with no dusty or nothing, right? How you think that bitch gonna treat you six days later? You're like, yeah, 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 you, yeah. You remember all that shit that I had in my crib? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's shit. I didn't even keep that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about to you dig. I'm about to uh, yeah. This is what I'm working with right now. You and 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 you got it. How you think she gonna treat you? You shouldn't even want to be in that bitch's vicinity. Both of y'all shouldn't even be be breathing the same air, my nigga. Talking about some man with an apartment and a car. Bitch, you lucky you got a nigga that got a place and can get around. Fuck out of here. That's it. You know, y'all can be mad at women all you And I'm going to tell you right now, any game that you're going to be receiving from women nowadays is going to be on the borderline prostitute type shit. So if I start getting into this pimp game, I'm going I'm to I'm just debunk every single thing she's talking about. Because everything she's talking about is under a pimp because she a hoe. She a hoe. And she not even a good type of hoe. She a renegade hoe. Hoe with no instruction. Hoe that don't want to listen. Hoe. A lot of you niggas call yourself niggas or players or max or whatever. Some type of nigga trying to get married, nigga. You dealing with a hoe, nigga. Yeah, she a hoe. She a hoe. She a hoe for show. Hoe. She only negotiating to you how she going to offer a pussy. 
She's a barterer. You never hear the woman. You never hear women use the word barter. You never hear the women use the word microchimerism. You never hear women use the word negotiate. Because when you start doing things like this, you are a businessman. Because you are a business owner. Women sit on a business every day. As a man, you sit on a business also. Intellectually, you sit on a business. It's just, are you going to be David Blaine? Are you going to learn how to break out of your own box as a man? Are you going to learn how to really secure what you need to secure? Because mentally, you're smart enough to get what you want. But how are you going to portray that and get that? How are you going to get it out the mud? How are you going to pull it out the mud? She's sitting on something that she don't even have to pull out the mud. So she goes into a be she goes into being a businessman or a businesswoman by default with a defection. A defection on her. Because she didn't have to pull it out the mud. See, there's value in pulling something out the mud. There's big value in pulling something out the mud. So when you have a business given to you, all you can be judged on. Is what type of a business person are you? And if you sit up here fucking niggas on the back end that don't got no business to bring to you, telling to and and then you telling the world that yo you got to have some business to bring to me before I can even you know invest in what you got going on or do business with you, you either investing or you doing business because as a business you yourself got to move. Now, what, now, when you're running a business, what do you got to do? Okay, yeah, you got to get advertisement. You got to get attention. You got to be able to do business. You're running the business, right? But as a business person to further your business, what are you doing? You're investing. So you do business with the Dusties, but you're talking about what you should be investing in. See, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't understand the type of science that I'm breaking down to y'all. Yeah, I got a studio. But for me to to actually capitalize on the on the on the business that I invested in to further my business, which is a studio, the money that I paid to get what I want is an investment. I paid that money. I did business with you. Whatever company that I want to do it with to get a studio. So I invested into my business. If women aren't investing to their business, they don't have to clean their pussy. Real talk. So what I'm saying to you is, is premium game. I invested into my business, okay? So now I need to do business. Women want to get fucked. Women want to do all kinds of shit. They want to get wined and dined and have a good time and all that other wild shit. So that's why they're up here twerking, standing on couches, wearing good clothes that accentuate their curves. There's a shirt that bitch can put on right now. It don't show her titties. There's some pants that bitch can put on right now. It don't show her ass. There's some makeup that bitch can put on right now. She looks ugly or she's doing too much. There's a wig she can put on right now. And it, 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 it shows how big her fucking head is. They're invested in their business. Why, why would a woman want to buy her a, her a wig so she can look good? But what does looking good do? Draws back to her pussy. Y'all got to be business-minded in a certain way. Y'all got to understand how other women are conducting business. That's what you judge them off of. Yeah, she an average girl, but she overconfident, so that makes her a bitch by default. Yeah, she a good looking girl. She a dime, but she doesn't have a personality and she don't know how to pick niggas and she coming with a kid. That bitch. You understand what I'm saying?
So this shit makes me mad. We not even. I don't even know if we're going to get into this clip. Anyway, let's let's just play it. But at the end of the day, you still going to be mad. Okay. <laughs> so the game Nothing that I'm talking about, the game that I'm talking about on today's show is how she negotiates her business. Let's go. Than a mediocre man. Let's switch gears. Why? Because they will attract a pick Misha. A pick Misha will fund them and they will get their money up some type of way while y'all sitting here being mediocre and mad. Okay. Um, they mad that we women and we don't want to work like hard like them to be the men you want them to be. Exactly. They um a lot of a lot of mediocre men. Bitch, what the fuck did you just say? We just don't want to work like this. She she knew it like halfway through her talking shit, she she had to put a filter on her so she you know, we just don't want to work as hard as you to get you know what we want. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. People are people are always gonna choose the path of least resistance. You gotta understand that, fellas. People are always gonna choose the path of least resistance. So she's just slapping on a wig and, and neglecting her own hair, which is actually a personal health type of thing. So y'all niggas want to talk about personal health and shit. And y'all want to be like, oh, well, I like a girl with some hips on her. You know, you the only reason why you like a girl with some hips on her is because that's a natural selection type thing. Niggas wanted women with childbearing hips. CVH. Because. They can produce a baby. She's not going to die during pregnancy and she'll be able to be around and help you throughout the whole term. Because honestly, if you want to be a hundred, women could just die off during pregnancy and the nigga will be damn, probably damn near better off just raising the kid by his damn self. But he needs the woman. She comes with milk. She comes with a whole bunch of things. She has her purpose. So the fact that you want to come on the internet, be like, oh, I like a, like a little, you know, I like a woman with curves and all this other shit. Nigga, you naturally supposed to do that. You think you're the first person to like a bitch like that? Why do you think that is? But let's listen to these queens. Come on, man. Don't think it's fair. Don't think it's fair that they have to pay for everything, blah, 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 and get used. Well, you can't afford to date. That's the whole point. The whole point for the woman doing that is to show you, you cannot afford a wife. You cannot afford to date. You can't afford to procreate. Therefore, they're telling you, you are a waste of a male body. Really? And unless you get your money up. So. Unless you can't afford to do that. How comes the guys that That's can't do this, job. they our stay having kids? Y'all stay having kids with them. supposed to be, to be able to be a provider. Oh, really? Husband, oh. father. Oh. We can't take you on. We can't procreate with you if you're not going to be able to sustain our lifestyle. We really? We can't do that. It's about you. So smart women oh. are not going to take you seriously. A really? stupid woman will. Mm. A desperate woman will. They exist. A woman that just needs to feel like she got something. Oh. Or you just get played. Men, get your money up. You are supposed to be the masculine what? man that pays. See how she stumbles over her words right there is because for her to hold up her facade, she knows she's getting over on you. And she knows that she has to shame you. So she has to pause a little bit in between what she's saying because she knows that she's selling you wolf tickets. That's the gaslighting. You understand what I'm saying? Gas don't move in, in silence. You going to smell gas. You know gas is going to smell. Go in your kitchen right now and turn your stove on, your gas stove on, if you have a gas stove, for a long time. And then and then you smell the gas, but you don't see it. And you don't see what it is going to cause. And go light a match in your shit and burn yourself up in the fucking house. Come on, man. She gaslighting you niggas, man. Okay, what does it look like you go in somewhere and your woman pull out her purse? That make you look super weak. No, nah, that that makes her super look look like she handling it. That's like a strong, independent draws. woman right there. <laughs> okay. If I, and when I go out in public and I see the, the woman... And across, another thing this bitch does, she... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. 
What you cling on, bitch? You call that bitch African because she snaps so much, she'll get mad at you. What's the difference between this bitch and a ghetto bitch that would be chewing gum and... Listen to every other thing she said. I know he got on her underwear. He got on her underwear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She run that house. He a little gay, y'all. He, she run that house. Meanwhile, on the back end, y'all bitches keep talking about these gay niggas, man, and calling these niggas that declare them straight themselves them that declare themselves straight gay. You understand what I'm saying? And calling these niggas homophobes and shit like that. You know what times I got called a homophobe, and then I got called gay right after that, as a as a, a tactic of emasculation. These gay niggas, they they finna take over you, dumbass bitches. Like in my heart of hearts, I cannot believe women are this dumb. Like, I there's a whole nother red pill that I need to swallow, son. I cannot believe bitches are this dumb. They don't see the they don't see the contradictory in them in their in their logic that they're putting forward. It's like, yep, this is what I offer. Yeah, there's a lot of contradictions in that, but that's what I offer. Oh God. So, uh, sorry, that's what I think, and I'm gonna keep thinking. We got this bitch talk, and, you, and, and you're supposed to. This, like women in the this is your queen at home, and they play that song from Silence of the Lambs. This is your premium women, sir. <laughs> yeah, you don't get nothing different than a hood rat. You don't get nothing different than a hood they, rat. They need to get their money up. They have to be. Yeah, they, own you know, they need a little money. They need to get their money up. What's the best they thing a hood rat gonna tell you? This. They be putting lotion on. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh yeah. Some of them really do be living in a grandma basement too. Yeah, and you and y'all fucking them. They're so mediocre. They gotta be their own woman. You don't the talk about that. Is, talk about look, y'all fucking them though. I'm not making fun of y'all. I'm just trying to. Give you some tough love. Get your money up. Y'all fucking them, though. Then you have no problems. No, it's bitches out of them pulled in the basement. Y'all fucking them. The only problem is who I'm going to take out tonight. Where am I going to go shop? What fine dining establishment can I uh, frequent this evening? Really? How much money did I make today? Really? That's your only worry. Which, what are you doing? Crying, sitting online, making videos, crying about how you got used. I use you, too. I that's bet. all you're good for. I bet. Because you wreck. you're not See, a husband material. See, she's getting she's getting her own shit off. So, if y'all niggas don't if y'all niggas don't get the game that I'm giving y'all, man, y'all I don't know what to tell you, bro. She giving her own shit off now. She, now this is the point of the conversation where you have to look at it is that she about to go into her own bullshit right now. Okay, she never denounced fucking these niggas that live in their grandma's basement and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? And let me tell you something, fellas. This type of woman gets all three, and she blows all three of them. This is he. This is the back part of the game y'all don't get. This type of woman blows all three of them. She gets the nigga that got it. He don't want to have nothing to do with her because by the time you get it, you can see all of this shit. She gets the nigga that's trying, and she gets the nigga that don't have it. So let me tell you what women like this do with all three niggas. The nigga that got it, she gets fucked by him and tossed back in the game. The nigga that's trying, she talks shit about him and criticize him before he's the nigga that got it. Because she's like, well, I've been with the nigga that get it. But y'all niggas are not smart enough on these dates to ask these bitches, okay, well, if you've been with the nigga that got it, why didn't he keep you? If you've been with the nigga that got it, why didn't he keep you? Why you get tossed back into the mix? I understand I'm in the mix. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get like him. For real, for real, bitch. You wasted my time. You the link to, to give me his number. His number is in your phone. Fellas, that's how you get the number to the nigga that got it. So you can get it. And be the nigga that got it. Sit up here talking to this bitch. She a procurer. We're going to talk about procurers, networkers, and everything. 
You niggas not in the right mindset. You use that hoe, get that nigga number. Yo, yeah, you dealt with such and such. Yeah, 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 she a dub. Yeah, damn, yeah, she was a dub to you too. Yeah, man, I fucked her and forgot the bitch. Damn, that's crazy. Yo, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I do this, that, and the third. I can offer you a service. I know you dealt with such and such, and I dealt with her, but I ain't take her seriously. I know that you was a real nigga that got it. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me take you out. Let's, Let's hang out real quick. I know you got a studio and this, that, and the third. You a content creator. Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me pick your brain real quick. And let's chop up some real game. I'm trying to be like you. Fuck the bitch. You niggas don't really, you really, you, you niggas don't know. Because see, if you are, and, and let me tell you why these red pill niggas are actually mad at you blue pill niggas. Because you can make it work as a blue pill nigga. Yeah, I dealt with me a little millionaire. Oh, he a millionaire? What he do? He know how to trade stocks and shit like that. Oh, damn, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling you to go through the bitch phone, but what I'm telling you is, nigga, you, you find that nigga's number because it's still in her phone. That's if you get with the bitch, though. You find that nigga number, dog? Like, yo, such and such told me about her, man. Fuck her. I know she irrelevant, but look, let me ask you something. When you're dealing with an escrow account, how are you supposed to manage that? Oh, for real? Damn. See, you got the game, dog. And you know what I'm saying? Shorty, I know she tripping, bro. And I'm on the way out. But I just wanted to get some knowledge from you. You understand what I'm saying? You niggas don't even know how to siphon knowledge. That's just a little side game, though. That shouldn't be your primary thing. But the main nigga you can learn from is that bitch's ex. Pimps do it all the time. Pimps really have to understand what type of leadership this woman was under because... Because that's the delusion that they hide under when they get to you. And if it's a nigga that really can't teach you nothing, because she deal with fuck niggas, like, yo, man, I had this nigga sleeping on my couch. Yo, this nigga put a hole in my wall. Yo, this nigga didn't pay for this. Yo, he didn't take my, my, my stepson out or his stepson or whatever. Come on, man. Sitting up there taking this bitch seriously, dog. You just want some pussy. You the bitch mouth. She about to hit the wall real quick. <laughs> what is you talking okay. about, man? Get your you got money. bigger fish to fry, if bro. You spend more time chasing money than women. Y'all niggas good. sitting up here talking about the game. You only talking about one side of the frit, the, the, the fucking fish. This is another side of that fish to fry, bitch. I'm getting mad. Okay. <laughs> What about money with no personality? Is that cool? It sure is. I want to see you, you score. Personality. Women not women don't care about what you're talking about anyway. As long as you're giving her. Yeah, speech. they care about themselves, bro. And you need to operate the same way, nigga. And provide. Taking her on vacation. Letting her go shop. She'll do all the talking. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, man. She do all the talking. That bitch approach you. <laughs> Cup in one hand, Uzi in the other Rich hand. Rich is a personality. Exactly. You can be aloof. Really oh, he's brilliant. rich. That's that's his excuse. So now that a nigga got money, that's his excuse. Okay. Um. Anyway. Branded black man leaving nappy stand. Well, good. Tell your mama bye while you at it. Hey. We don't care. Like y'all think we care. Y'all the ones that don't have no money. The ones that's leaving. The ones that's staying got the money. Look. Women are acting like pussy ain't a resource. Like money ain't a resource. Like status ain't a resource. Like swag ain't a resource. Like you being in a oh. They can afford it. Y'all can't. Bye. Point blank. If you can't afford it, don't even try it. Thank God. You can't afford it. Fuck. Yo, yo, buy me a $300,000 mansion. Why don't you get it? I, I can't afford it. Yo, buy me. I'm ashamed you into it. If you ain't, if you ain't got $300,000, yo, buy. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck up out of here, nigga. Most black men are black. I'm not trying to divide anybody. Look, I'm married to a black man. He he paying my he paying money. He I feel sorry for that nigga, dog. He he paying money. He just, this is how your woman on the internet thinking, nigga. 
Fuck this bitch. Now nah, I don't even want to you listen to this bitch. I want I want to talk to you, son. Fuck wrong with these niggas, bro. Paying mortgage, he paying everything. He, all he, bills he, paid. he paying. It's it all inclusive. He, he he he, he the, paying. I'm leeching. I got me a good situation. And now I'm talking shit on the internet. I got me a good situation. Um, <laughs> shit. The Dusties have it confused, right? It's just the poverty bond. Um, people that are uh, self-aware and understand how stuff works in this world. Mm. And they're not stupid. Ooh. They know what to do. It doesn't even matter. The, you don't want to procreate with those type anyway. You don't want children by those type of men anyway. They're stupid. Oh. They can't get their money up. Says. They have poverty mind and they DNA. Baby. You don't want Mm-hmm. 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 Right. Mm-hmm. These guys want a steak dinner on a ramen noodle budget. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> so, these hoes, um... These hoes get on my nerves, y'all. Oh, Homer, you couldn't beat me if you tried. <laughs> these hoes get you on my nerves, You get through my neighborhood. The, co- the cops will stop you in your little hoopty. I, this is what I do to these hoes. I walk law. out. What about I, I, in between mm. two women hit the wall at I look. I, I be like oh, looking. I be like mm-hmm. the J-Lo, Beyonce. Yeah, let me get up out of here. Rihanna, y'all. Mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian. Mm-hmm. All them ch- chicks is way over the thirty. Kim, way, Kim, way, way over thirty. The Kim the Kardashian. Why men say they, they uh, over women 30. hit the wall at thirty is because women got major game at thirty and they see straight through their. Women don't have major game at thirty and they see straight through their bullshit. No. Women realize their own bullshit at 30. This is this is what happens. They don't see through your bullshit. I mean, look, and think about it. Even if look, 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 look. Let's 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 chop up some real game right now. When a woman hit 30, on the back end, they see through your bullshit. Because they see their bullshit. See what I'm saying? When women hit 30, they ain't take care of themselves and shit like that. They're like, okay, damn. I wasn't really as pretty as I said I was, or I was at one point and I fell off. But now that I fell off and these niggas are fake with me and I'm realizing that I fell off. Now I can see straight through the bullshit. You were trying to put me through because you, because you perceived I was one thing or I was actually one thing and fell off. And the thing about it is that when I fell off or, you know, when I haven't became, when I wasn't that one thing anymore, you know what I'm saying? I can see that you don't want to deal with me anymore because I I will put you through a whole bunch of shit not being shit. I wasn't shit to begin with because, you know what I'm saying, I was on. Like, I didn't know myself. And think, there's, a, there's a trade that happens with that. So she's lying to y'all. There's a lot of game that she's leaving out to y'all. And she's lying to y'all, man. Hit that cash app, PTR888. Let's go. That's a mediocrity. They be lying, though. Young women before me, before my channel, mm-hmm. fell for the okie doke. They fell for False the False promises. When, you're, when you hit 30, you hit the wisdom age of knowing BS. So women do hit the wall, according to men, at 30, because women can see through their lies too easily. We oh. we don't want to go out oh, to eat. Oh, but if you were that bitch, you didn't need to be lied to. But uh, yeah, yeah, okay. We want vacations. We want look. We want shopping sprees. We want you to pay some bills. Okay, so we want you to go to work. We want vacations. Vacations paid by who? I want a vacation. Don't you think your man want a vacation? Okay, what are you doing? Okay, do you offer him a vacation for him to even at least offer you a vacation? I want a shopping spree, but what do I got to do to get a shopping spree? But I'm just supposed to just readily offer you a shopping spree. the fuck wrong with these bitches, bro? I want a vacation. I want a shopping spree. What are you doing so that I got to offer you a shopping spree? Women don't really take a... Look. Um, nah, I ain't even going to go at my homie like that, bro. I could get, be, I could get fucked up today. 
just off the shit that I'm saying right now. And bitches just come up here and just blab and 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 don't and don't have to take no type of accountability for anything that they say. She just saying whatever comes to her mind. Really? At least if I say what comes to my mind, give me some type of discretion. I got to filter out what the fuck in this society. I got to filter out what the fuck I'm finna say. Anyway. Hit the wall. We hit the wall to them because they can no longer afford us. They must. I'm supposed to afford a 30, 40 year old woman. They can't afford us. How about I don't want to afford you? How about you don't shut the fuck up? How about you? This is not what I want. How about you think about yourself so much to the point that you don't even think about me to even offer me what I want for me to even spend that type of money on you? How about that? How about that? What do you offer? You got rings and shit on your fingers. Did you pay for those? Did you pay for those? I'm going to give y'all niggas the whole game tonight. It's a Friday night and I'm alive. I'm going to give y'all the game tonight. And we're going to be reading some excerpts from my favorite book, which is called The Pimp's Bible by Alfred Bilbo Golson. The Sweet Science of Sin. We're going to read some, some shit about it because this right here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be what we're going to be talking about. And I talked about this on the further show. I got a whole series on this right here that I got to recover from my other MacBook that's laying around here. I'm supposed to be sitting up here doing all this work just for some stupid bitch that don't know what the fuck she's talking about to just swoop in and look like, oh, I'm that bitch because I got this nigga. out of here and go try to fool someone younger who has not had the experience i don't really truly know go try to yet. fool someone younger they're telling you that getting somebody younger that's willing to learn and that really wants to learn how to please a man and do everything that you would like them to do or that could be more acceptable and just give you what you want is a bad thing they're telling you that you're you're fooling a, a, a younger woman. Like they themselves haven't been that younger woman and they go at a man to go get a bag or... or, or at, look how much bitches on your timeline right now talking about some I want a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy for what? What do you want a sugar daddy for? Why don't you get somebody your age that's struggling on how to be a man and be down with him and, and, and try to learn how to, uh you know, deal with him and become the woman that he wants and needs because you can understand him genuinely and build a beautiful marriage and have kids and 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 be happy and stuff like that because that's hard. That's hard. So you take the money. Go get the bag, sis. Everything. Get the bag, sis. Oh, it's about that bag, sis. These women ain't got no goddamn moral. Get the bag, sis. Go get the bag. That's the best Hopefully thing she can give you. They know my Prostitute channel advice. They will get past that as well. Thank you, Do Rami. Do Remy. Thank you, Shira. I went on a date with an ugly guy and blah, 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 blah. Hold on. With an ugly guy, and it was evident that we were on different level. I ignored him, and he suggested paying for my stuff, allowance, even without me asking. Good for you. See? That target right. Thank you for the donation. That's that target. You got the right target. You look good. You got the right target. Do I need to say anything else? She just called you a target, my nigga. She mediocre. I sure am, but I'm, I'm, I'm mediocre, but I make more money than you. And I will always be ahead of you. So when yeah. I said mediocre for men, I was, I was being generous with that. And I should have said subpar, but yeah. Mediocre is. And I can't really blame women for this. I can't really blame women for thinking like this, bro. Because you got to look at the, you got to look at the masses of the niggas, man. They, they enabled this, bro. 
other than the government, when we just talk about black women in general and just women in general and how they think and how they get down in this world, other than the government, man, you niggas enable this, man. On Instagram, liking these hoes' pictures and shit like that. And doing all this other shit, nigga. A lot of niggas enable this. This is, in a way, this is the creation of a lot of niggas. I'm being dead to fuck serious, man. We're going to get into the brick wall. We're going to talk about the game. Generous. I'm giving y'all that. You know, to have something to aim for. <laughs> yep. Yep. There are there are women more gorgeous than me, but I got the game. I got the drip. <laughs> drip, drip. I know, I know my, uh, <laughs> I know my limitations. I should just do the whole show. And I work with them to get paid and get my money. Yeah, I get my get money. everything paid for. I get my bag and my husband. Oh, I get my bag and my husband bag. What's your excuse? Get the big, yo. What's your excuse, yo? Get you the big. have fake hair also. Why, thank you for noticing. This fake hair probably costs more than you earn in a week, darling. Mm. She's right about that. And it's not fake. It's actually real human hair. Oh, it's human hair. It's another person's <laughs> DNA on your head. Yeah, you don't oh. talk about that. Oh, and also I got paid and sponsored to wear this wig. So I can, I can wear fake hair and get paid to wear it. And get it free. Oh. And you can't even go in the store and buy it Discount. without Discount. contemplating if you're going to have gas to get home. You get discounts. That's sad, isn't it? Oh, it's real sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. Are you possessed by the Jezebel demon? Are you possessed by the broke demon? That bitch ain't yours. <laughs> I go, I, hey, I should play that shit, man. Anyway. I, anyway. <laughs> she belongs to the game And when she with me I let her do her thing my hair keep getting on my What you hating for Are you possessed by the broke I baby? said nigga what you hating for She belongs to the game the And when she with me I let her do her thing <laughs> Be gone Be mindful of the niggas that can't sing son Broke lazy bob Broke lazy bob Um Thank you, Miss Feline Fury. I love your no dusties allowed way of thinking. Thank you. Because dusties will take your life down quick. Oh, you should know about that. You an expert in get that. involved with a dusty. They will these take bitches, you down and these, you take you down with them. These bitches be having a third degree um, so, black belt in that. Yeah, get your old money up, man. Like women like money. We like money. Just yeah, like y'all yeah, like yeah. yeah, these red pill niggas, they'll take us down with them. Yeah, so Blue Pill Man, get your own money. You know, I'm I'm giving y'all some translation. Blue Pill Man, get your money, you know. Have somewhere for us to stay because these red pill niggas, they just been fucking the shit out of us. And after they fuck the shit out of us, they have kids with us, and we need somewhere to parlay all of this shit. And if you ain't getting money, you can't take care of a real bitch because she a real bitch. You have to understand. For a nigga to call himself a real nigga, he had to have been through some shit, right? He had to have had some game on him, right? Who was a real bitch? She had to have attitudes. She has to be coming with kids. She don't know her worth. She don't... It's just a gang of problems. By the time motherfuckers pro- proclaim themselves to be real, they're usually fucked up. In a head. Like, not even in the head. I N N A. Head, son. By the time the nigga claim it, like to to like like probably to a certain bitch, you a fucked up ass nigga. But guess what? When you a real nigga, that fucked upness about you keeps that bitch. They don't talk. They don't talk about that. That's the elephant in the room. That's that's the game. That's see. That's the shit I like to talk about. By the time that nigga a fucked up nigga. He on your couch? He done fucked you? You like it? You know what I'm saying? He got a game up on him? He got a whole bunch of shit. That's a lot to offer because you ain't about to upgrade yourself as no real bitch. You ain't about to have no real nigga. Let, 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 let your girlfriend today talk about having a Marshawn Lynch or somebody. I don't even know what you think or believe about your little bitch. 
But even you as a real nigga know that that nigga ain't having it. But you having it. And to a degree, you don't know any type of self-worth within yourself because you feel that you have to have it because you feel that you in a position of disadvantage. But at the same time, you a nigga that got to lead that bitch. So mentally, you have to have it because you don't want to associate you having it with that bitch giving it to you. That bitch should know that even if she does give it to you, she going to have it. And listen, we got what we got. Let's move because I'm with you. You my leader. What's the point of making you having it if I ain't going to be with you? She wasn't devoted to you, fam. So some of you niggas, that's the, that's the, that's the harsh part of the game. Some of you niggas, you deal with these bitches and they, and, they, and they get you to a point where you having it. She ain't devoted to you. Now catch me on part three, man. We're going to finish this shit. She ain't devoted to you. And she never was. That's hypergamy, nigga. That's that gynocentrism for your ass. That woman that be down for you, yes, she deserves it. But how does she deserve it? Because once she starts to having it, and she can be able to provide that for you, now you having it, you still her leader. See, when a woman chooses a man, she chooses a president. And usually she want to choose somebody that she can follow. But you have women out here that don't know how to choose. So just for her to say that she has a man, she will entertain a situation long enough for her to have a man. Or sometimes she's in a situation and it just so happens to happen. There's exceptions to the rule. But what you have to understand is that exceptions don't make the rule. The rule is always going to be the rule. The exception is going to be there. The exception don't make the rule. The rule was around before the exception. The rule was this. And then the exception be like, okay, let me reconsider what this is to at least be fair. Because you do have a point there. You have a point. You just end up getting with a bitch. She just end up being a good bitch. Even throughout the little situation that you that you that you wrote off, that you brought to the table. Yeah, I wasn't that bad and this, that, and the third, but you know what? Her providing for me ended up giving her a good lifestyle. Some of you pimps that's out here in the fucking game ain't got no bitch. Holeless and doleless. Gotta put on a facade to get the bitch. And once you get the bitch, she believes in that facade that you put on so much that both of you motherfuckers make money. And when both of you motherfuckers make money, you took her out of her financial situation. She took you out your financial situation and it elevated whatever happens. Now both of y'all are elevated. So some of these women, they want you to lie to them. You have to lie to them. But y'all don't hear me, man. Come fuck with me on the next show, man. We're going to take a break. It's Player Talk Radio, Player Talk TV, man. And it's Black Avengers. We over here. I'm going to release this shit on YouTube. But I'm going to show y'all niggas what's really good, man. Nigga tripping. I'm going to show y'all the game, dog. And I don't want to I don't, I don't hear nothing about... Uh, y'all say, oh, cooter, man, yo... Yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never really, you know, broke it down, dog. I'm giving you the game. I've been giving y'all niggas the game, dog. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit that cash app. Player Talk Radio, PTR888. I'm waiting. Send your boy a bag, bro. Send your boy a bag, bro. Make this shit a real black card. I'll show you what true leadership is. I'll show you what 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 get getting to that bag means, man. These hoes. You niggas donate to these hoes on Cash App. Showing you ass and titties and shit. And porn is out here free. And you have a nigga like me giving you the game. These hoes are common. They're usual. They're not even common. You usual. You casual. 
You were given. Bitches sit up here talking shit to you. You come over here and get the motherfucking game, man. I don't understand you niggas, man. White people get support. Support me, nigga. Give you the game. You, nigga, there's, nigga, you can literally sit on a date with this bitch. I'm going to have a date show coming right now because I've been on these panels and stuff and I've been talked about this. One out of three women using niggas as a foodie call. Foodie call. But in the black community, it's, it's two out of three. And all of them, all these sisters have used a nigga for at least one point in their life for some goddamn food. You niggas gonna know this game, dog. I'm I'm really gonna really give y'all niggas this game, dog. Y'all gonna get this ism, dog. Yeah, use this and go use the Streamlabs link that I got that I got down at the at the bottom, dog. Five for a segment, ten for a show. And if you don't want to give out your name and stuff like that, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all niggas the game. I'll answer any question you motherfucking want. Let's get it. Player Talk Radio, Player Talk TV. Man, come catch me at part three. I'm about to play part... I'm, I'm about to play the second half of what this bitch is talking about. And I'm giving y'all the red pill. Each thing I give you is a motherfucking pill. I'm give you the red pill, nigga. You know what time it is, dog. Come catch me. Let's get it.